Hello there and welcome back to the Rabbit's Antelope. Um, thank you for returning. Today I would like to share a recipe that I learned from my husband and it is a goat's meat with onion and lettuce. So first we're going to get out a, um, let me just see, chopping board here with a knife and a bowl. After that, we're going to get the ingredients. First, the lettuce. This is a half a lettuce. Then an onion, red chili pepper and garlic, as well as green onion. Then the star ingredient. If I can get it out of my freezer. <laughs> Wrong compartment. There we go. And the star ingredient is, of course, you guessed it, the goat meat. Let me just set it aside so that it defrosts. Now I want to cut the onion. We need only actually a quarter of an onion. And um, I'm going to take the bigger one because I love onion. <laughs> anyway, we need to cut this up into some strips. So we'll cut it into medium size strips. So there we go. It is cut. So next we will need um, a little spoon to spoon out the chili, the garlic and the spring onion as well as chopsticks to cook with. Next I'm going to tear, not tear, but uh, peel, so let's say peel these leaves from the stem of the celery. So there I am just peeling it away. <laughs> um, and of course we need to wash this as well. Don't forget to wash your veggies. So I'm not going to bore you with showing you how it's washed, but there, voila, washed. <laughs> now we will move on to the hob. So before that, we're going to need, of course, our meat, which is semi-defrost by now. Let's just open this and go to the hob now. So now at the hob we're going to need our non-stick pan with no oil inside and we're going to switch it on and switch it on to medium heat. Next we're going to add in our meat. Everyone has cooked before I guess <laughs> uh, but we need to cook these from frozen or semi-defrozen because we don't want to use oil. As you can see, this meat is quite fatty as well. This is the meat that they use for hot pot, the Chinese hot pot. Oh, I dropped this, but it's uncooked and it will be cooked, so it's no problem. And I've cleaned my counters and everything. Right, so, oops, I've switched off the stove. <laughs> Switch it back on again. All right, let's carry on. I think from here on out, um, let's get going. You can just stir it a little just until you see some cooking has started and then we will start adding in our stuff. First we're going to add in some garlic, just this little teaspoon, well, it's not even a teaspoon, but just this little coffee spoon of um, the garlic. After that, with no time at all, we're going to add the chili. So just add in as well, you could perhaps half a coffee spoon I guess and then immediately as well we will add in our onion as you can see it's quite a quick quick process um, like I said this is, a, this is an induction stove so it will be quick and I'm always uh, stressful time or out of time or want you know not time as in I don't have time but time as in I'm usually hungry by the time I cook so we're just going to break up the onion like that because you want individual onions and then we will add in some soy sauce a few spoons full um as you know <laughs> Africans and most Asians, we don't um, measure with spoons, you just eyeball it. So I decided to eyeball it with a spoon and then you can just count how many little spoons I've added in. 
I think these are about four. And then basically, once we've done that, we're almost done. We're almost done. Now we're going to add in some sesame seeds. Just a few. Oh, I couldn't get it out, so I need to open and pour it into my hand, then pour it into the pot. And then we're going to stir that through. And then cover it with the lid. And then we just wait for a few seconds. Stir it again. And we're done. 